Yo, shout out to Guys TV or do a gang on the scene. Niggas now be rocking. What's up, good? It's gang. You know what we're about. We're bleeding block to the best underground rap here in New York City and beyond. Today we're beyond. We're in Lake Como near Milan. Yeah, we're in Italy. It's light work. We're doing some shopping. Not a big deal. But today we're talking about uniqueness. We're talking about a unique rapper coming out of East Harlem. D. Dot Do Hits, the king of the East, many are calling him. He has unique sound. He has unique visuals. He has unique ad libs. He just has unique rap songs. He's probably one of the most different New York City drillers I've come across in a really long time. And we're talking about everything in this interview, all the drama going on in Harlem, the Bronx, and whether the Bronx and Harlem, whether the North Side really has a crown when it comes to New York City drill. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Volume 4, Episode 3, featuring D-Dot Do It. I know you ready. Trippin' no drugs got me lurky. Henny inside of my system got me going dirty. Put on him, I ain't no worry. He been like a Mr. Baba shop, I got the third. What's good, good? It's gang. You know what we're about. We're bleeding block for the best in underground rap. And you know what the vibe is. We got an interview. We, we moved all the way to Brooklyn, but we got some Harlem talent in the building. We got Mr. Run Up and Die, Mr. Las Vegas, Mr. Flag up in the fucking building. One of the hey. princes of Harlem. We got D-Dot Do Hits. Dude, let's start off simple. Let's start, we just smoked a couple of J's. Let, let's start off simple. We chilling. For those who don't know, like, where are you from, man? Talk a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? You, did you grow up in New York City? What part of New York? How was growing up there? I grew up in the hood, I grew up in the L's, you heard, LV, Lima Village, feel me, shit was, shit, yeah, I lived in New York all my life, feel me, right there on the eighth side, but that shit was lit, this was young. Dude, for, but a lot of people don't even know what LV or Las Vegas is, but you say in your music, and now you got, you got fans like in New York, outside of New York, different states, you know what I mean, listening to music, so it's like... So it's like, you know, what does that mean, you know, to the, to people who don't know? Shit. No, no, I was saying, like, what does LV mean? What's the L? Oh, the L, that's my son, Louis, you heard? LA and all that. We from the L's. That's Lehman Village. We really from Madison, though. But, I feel that, man. You feel me? Shit. There's no, everybody know what that shit is. We the real LV. I'm on that left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You grew up there your whole life? Of course. A from Madison. Right there by the peas. Damn. It's, so is that in Harlem or the Bronx? I say Harlem. Damn. You yeah. got, for me, Lakeview, Lima Village. So is that like Spanish Harlem and shit? Yeah. Damn, yeah. man. There's some good food out there. Yeah, there's some good yeah. parties. There's some good food. Um, yeah, something like that. That should be dirt where I'll be going, though. <laughs> I, I, feel go that. I feel that. For me. <laughs> I feel that. Dude, so how, I guess, just starting from the top, how long have you been making music for? Shit, I've been rapping for a minute now, I ain't gonna lie. I made my first video in 2017. I used to fuck around before that. I feel like I ain't really dropped nothing like before 2017, but 2017 I dropped back blocks and shit with my son Chris Cash. Oh shit. Like, Where could be, is that on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I feel that. I feel it. When do you did you when do you think you start taking music more like seriously like going into stew shooting visuals shit like that? Shit like 20, 2019. I feel that. Type shit. I feel that. I feel that. I was dropping music on SoundCloud and shit for the other years. Yeah. SoundCloud shit wasn't really doing that though. Dude, I was I was on your YouTube channel and I saw the first song, like the earliest song you dropped on your YouTube channel was the song Nightmare. And it was like, it's fucking fire, dude. You that need to shoot shit. a visual for that. Yo, that shit is fire, I ain't gonna lie. It's like low-key one of your best songs, but it doesn't have a visual. Like I you should definitely shoot a visual for that. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like with visuals nowadays like a lot of rappers have been doing the same shit so for with nightmare you should do something like different i don't know something like spooky and like different with like a theme a plot to it i feel like that shit could blow up yeah yeah <laughs> uh dude where so kind of speaking about that more like where does that style come from like where did you like i just feel like a lot of the drill rappers i'm hearing anywhere in new york they don't have that like 
dark theme to it like where do you like where did you kind of come with that theme even in your visuals it's like very dimly lighted it's kind of like i don't know it's just like a different vibe nah, me and the me and the bros be on a different time bro. yeah you feel me niggas is niggas is active niggas be screaming and shit <laughs> niggas be all blacked up all that for me that's regular shit so for me we're gonna show we we doing a vid without saying the music for me. It's so, dude, for your ad libs, when you're like screaming, the Joker laugh, like all that shit, is that you? Because it almost sounds like a different person. Nah, that shit right there, I ain't gonna lie, that's dead. I'll be where the, uh, the stool nigga, he put that for me. YouTube, some little laugh shit in the background from the movie. Oh, but, yeah. Damn, that's some good production right there. Like, I didn't think... See, that's where a producer could add value to a song. Like, that's when, if you have a good engineer or a good producer, they'll, like, bring something different to the table. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's um, fact, do you have any, like, new music coming up or dropping soon? Yeah, I'm about to drop Wu K Party. Niggas, niggas been wanting that. I'm going to drop that, then I'm going to drop Skeezer. Damn. I'm going to start flooding, I ain't going to lie. W would you classify yourself as like a a drill rapper, or do you think you just kind of experiment with other stuff too? Not at all. I, I call myself an artist. I got some shit for me. I do the drill rapper shit. So niggas want to hear right now. But are you are you gonna release more songs? Like you have that one song Fast Lane that's a little bit more like yeah. melodic and and stuff. Like are you gonna release more music like that? Of course. Yeah. I'm gonna get this drill shit out the way though. Yeah. You know I mean? Dude, drill is what New York is tuned into currently. It's what people want to listen to for the most part. Let's just be real about it. Yeah, um, dude, I I think like Fastlane's a great song to be, do, but you're at your best when you're doing drill rap. I mean, it's just like it's something entirely entirely different. Um, did you uh did you see that Crooklyn reactions review of of one of your songs? Well, definitely, that's a fact. That's my soul right there. That's the cause. <laughs> Crazy, that. Be me crying. dude that was hilarious man i really think it like got you like a lot more exposure which is pretty dope because you've only been dropping visuals on your own youtube channel right you're not like dropping on raps and hustles flotastic all those bigger channels yeah, i'm dropping on my shit i feel that i feel that um dude are you gonna make a visual for rockstar with rally guns and jojo that's a fact that's a fact we gotta yeah, bro, and I was talking about that shit not too long ago. We were supposed to do that shit like two weeks ago when niggas fake baited. Like, do you know like, who the producer is for that beat? Like, who is that? Because that beat is unbelievable. Nah, dead dumb. My son really guns do it all. That shit <laughs> fire. I had to hop on that. Dude, dude if you shoot the visual for a rock star and you don't have a prop guitar that one of your boys is like playing, like, you gotta have some guitars in there, dude. Just I like you guys getting fucked up with a guitar, like air guitar, dude, that visual would sell, man. There'd be major numbers around that shit. Yeah, a little Mexican visual, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> dude, um, so what, what, what are the type of music like you listen to? Like, name some artists that you uh, were like bumping on the car over here. Shit. I was listening to myself. I was listening to myself, really guns. I mean, a lot of the guys. So mostly like local artists, you would say, or are you listening to like, you know, Five E or a Boogie with the Hoodie, like all those like bigger, you know, more mainstream, I guess you could say, artists. Do you do you fuck with any of that music, or is it yeah. mostly like just yeah, your boys? Once in a while, that shit don't be, shit don't be hyping me up. Once in a while, though, <laughs> for me, that be, I don't know, I be on, I be on time, I be listening to the bros. Yeah, I be talking that shit I want to hear. That's dope that you guys get to listen to your boys' music because a lot of people don't get to do that because they don't have friends making music. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of that's kind of fire. Who would you say are like your major like musical influences? Like the people you grew up listening to that was like, "Fuck, this sounds dope. I want to be a rapper." After listening to their music, shit, nigga, Chief Keef was wild. I nigga, feel that war. Mm. Boy, don't want war. Nigga, <laughs> niggas thought they was demons, you heard? I shit this son, niggas. But yo, that shit was fire. I ain't, I ain't, not too many niggas I could say though. I was just really listening to Chirac shit. 
back in the day and all that, 2012 yeah. and all that. Yeah. So that's what you guys grew up mostly listening to, like Chief Keef? Yeah. Damn, This shit was bumping at the time. Do you think Chief Keef or Lil Durk, like, whose music hits better? Right now. For me, I'm it's Keef, like, easily. I like... Right I, now, it's Durk. <laughs> really? Damn. Durk, he talking that shit. Dude, Keith is shit. was unbelievable. Though. He's definitely, definitely an icon. So, if you could get a feature from, like, say you get signed to a record label, and A and R is like, here's a billion dollars, you, it, but you have to use on a feature. You could have whatever feature you want in the world. Who's like, the, w- give me like two two names that you you have unlimited budget. Shit, I don't even know. Thinking about it like that, shit, I don't even know. Probably have fuck, I see dirt. Damn. Dirt. That's a good one. Who else? Shit. I was like dirt, I don't even a know. A lot of rappers say it. Drake, even if they don't fuck with his music, because if you just get a feature from Drake, your career is just gonna skyrocket. Drake be talking some crazy shit. <laughs> no. I don't even be listening to Drake like that no more, you yeah, I feel it. No, you gotta give me another name though. You said Dirk. You said Dirk. Dirk. Who else? Shit, I don't even know. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna keep it up, Ben. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with Dirk, bro. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Who are some of the artists like your f- artists that you've been listening to that are in like n- the New York area? Like you mentioned. Rally Guns, like who are some of those types of artists that you could shout out that you've been listening to a lot? This is my son, Dottie Blue. Dude, Dottie like, Blue, he had the past two songs have been like fire, man. That's gonna be going crazy. That's the what crazy. was that? What was that one where he, the Mario Kart bar? Yeah. What that one? The one? The one before? Yeah, like like this, a school? To, like a yeah, dude. Like Waste of time. Look, that's my son right there. <laughs> He's fucking fire. He be going crazy. He got some shit coming out too. I'll be listening, to my son. D Rose. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel that. I'm listening to no ops though. I don't know. At all? You don't be peeping their music a little bit just to see what what type like what they're talking about or something, just a little sneak peek, just to see what's going on. Like not at all? Nah. Not at all. The niggas is day room. I feel that. I feel that. Them niggas niggas never seen me in their life. The niggas day room. I feel that. Dude, the public's been asking, like, when are you going to do a feature with someone? Like, you, you're you rapping Dolly, steady. Like, uh, when are you going to do a feature with somebody? Oh, well, I guess you have Rockstar, actually. Yeah, that's some, yeah. That's some shit right there. I'm going to do, do a track with my son, Daddy Blue, real soon. Oh, really? Dude, that's going to be fire, man. Yeah. Do you guys have it recorded? Nah, nah, not yet. I'm about to go to the studio real soon, though, probably this week. I might do some shit with my son D Rose too. I might do some other shit in with my son Really Guns, J Five. That's dope. That's that's dope. Um, have you thought about doing any features with Brooklyn artists, or have you been communicating to any like on a musical level, or not really? Shit, not really. Damn, damn. Really. Well, one two that was fake a minute ago. But. Yeah, yeah. Um. I feel like. Do you listen to any Brooklyn rap, or not really? Yeah, yeah, I listen to niggas. You listen to them, dude. Ne- shout out like a couple artists that you fuck with out in Brooklyn. That at least you listen to. I be listening. Um, so I be listening to uh, Rich Noodle, nigga. Oh yeah, yeah the Fort Green guys, dude. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Rich Glizzy is pretty fire too. My niggas got some shit right there. Bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely, dude. What about like um like beats? Like I feel like your beats are more like they're like more I don't know how to say it, like more sinister. Like it's yeah, like yeah. something out of like a horror movie or some shit. Like I know what you mean. is that do you usually just like think about what type of beat you're on and you're just like fuck, this is something I could rap over? Like how do you choose beats? You know what I mean? Do people send you shit? Do you just go on YouTube? They could be sending me shit sometimes, but I be going to, I be, I be fuck with some nigga on YouTube. Feel me? He be sending the pack out and shit. Yeah. Should be, should be fire. Who are, who are some of the producers? A lot of rappers never, they're always like, I don't even know his name. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas be stealing beats too. I can't even do that. 
Yeah. I was, I was wild. I feel too. like do you think stealing beats is even beneficial or do you think having your own unique uh, beats better? Just be stealing beat and flow and balls like you yeah. can steal a beat and do your own shit but what's your you approach do, speaking of that like what's your approach to like writing? Cuz I feel like you're like your vo- like your vocabulary and lyrics are just like different than other rappers. Like the shit you be saying is just different. Like are you kind of like putting like a pen and paper before and writing out some bars or like what's your approach to to making music yeah once in a while it's a fact i write write some shit down yeah go to the stool if i don't finish that shit i go to the stool Just fill it in for me yeah yeah you could be thinking and shit <laughs> i'm coming i feel that i feel that man bullshit. i feel that i feel that um what are some like camera like what are your top few cameramen in new york that you like working with and what are some cameramen that you're like damn i fuck with his work i, c- I want to one day like shoot a video with that dude i fuck with my son riley for me be putting a pan on the camera side for me um uh, is, is that the person who shot know how we rock yeah 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 they, that was a good one you know, crazy word um i feel like shots in the studio when someone's rapping in the studio are you don't see them as much anymore but that's always a fire shot where you're like actually rapping in the stew yeah, that's a fact that's fire man that shit was going, shit was going crazy niggas was smacking us through that day <laughs> i feel like you rock you know what i mean but yeah i don't really know who for me who to do it, who i want to do a video with yeah do you have a visual shot that you're waiting to drop already Mm, or is it being edited and shit i do but that shit i might do redo that shit niggas be wild i feel that dude so what's sort of up like next for you musically like and where what's your goal with your music like you're trying to get signed to a record label are you trying to stay independent are you just fucking around doing it for fun like what's your like, how do you feel about music? Where do you want to see yourself musically? I'm about to say independent. All that fun shit with independent shit for me. Yeah. That's the way right now. Niggas is bogging out. And you still. Yeah. I know, dude. But people need to collect that record label paycheck. You know what I mean, yeah, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to for me. Shit going to progress as time go by. I feel that. Know. Dude, one one uh, a couple of more questions I like to ask is like, if some rapper hits you up in the DMs and they're just like, "Yo, man, I fuck with your music," how much or like how much for a feature? How much are you taxing this dude? Like, I'm trying to create a spreadsheet with everybody's rapper, everybody's name, everybody's fee. Like, how much are you taxing dudes these days? Fifteen. Damn. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that no respect, respect dude. Respect. Cool. Would you would you give that dude some money off if you really fuck with his music and you're like, damn, we can make some really dope music together? Twelve hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Okay. Dude, I gotta. I always gotta ask this question, man. Like, I feel like it's just been a crazy year in the New York rap scene and shit. What are your thoughts on, like, the New York drill rap scene and, like, all the crazy shit everyone's been seeing on the news and all that shit? Like, like is it just, like, do you think it's, like, crazy time to be a New York rapper or do you think it's just, like, whatever, this is how it's always been? Do what you feel out here in these streets. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all niggas. Niggas been wildin' out here. Can't see me. Niggas have been out here the whole life. Yeah. Not moving or nothing. Yo, sad. What What do you What do you think is like the impact of New York drill on New York? Like, do you think it's like a real movement? Like, it's just really popular. Like, what What do you think right now? Because I saw a tweet the other day that was like, New York drill is getting repetitive. Like, it needs to change or something to survive. Like, what are your thoughts on the New York drill rap movement? I guess if you want to call it that. I don't know, niggas. 
Everybody doing this deep voice shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, niggas really Who started the deep voice shit? That is so true, though. I don't even know we were. <laughs> Everybody got the same voice. That deep, like, raspy ass voice. Like, yeah, I've yeah. noticed that it's so that common now. I will say the first rapper, because I've been listening to for a while, but the first rapper to have that a little bit was Freshy the General out of Brooklyn. Like, he was the first one early on that had that raspy, like, sin- that sinister raspiness. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of his rap music, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, though. It does. It does all sound the same. Do you think your sound has changed since you started making music two years ago, or have you always kind of sounded like this in your in your the way your music sounds? Nah, nah, nah. I feel like my shit changed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. My shit changed. I feel that. I feel that. Yo, D Dot. People been wondering, man. Who really got Harlem right now? Because I feel like there's a lot of names in Harlem. People are talking about a lot of names, and like I don't want to like you know, I want to name names, but there's a lot of names in Harlem. The scene in Harlem has like exploded recently. The scene in Bronx has exploded. Like who really has Harlem right now? I got it. And it gave you my own page. I think it's Kevin. Damn. I got Harlem. I feel that. I feel it's that. A fact. Dude, why do you think the Bronx and Harlem rap scene has gotten so popular recently? Like, I was on Instagram today. I was on Talk of the Town show, which is like this rap blog in New York. And they posted something. And it was like BMG being like the Bronx rap scene, Harlem rap scenes that has the crown of New York and all this shit. Like, why do you think it's become like that in the Bronx, Harlem? Niggas like just internet it out. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> be on that net chatting. All the time. Um, in the in the in Harlem in the Bronx or in Brooklyn? Everywhere, nigga, these niggas be arguing and shit. Oh, that so shit. wait, 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 wait. So this is a good point. So do you think that chatting, that internet chatter, is actually good for business? Because if the, there's more attention, nah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, it is. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. Uh, keep me out of that. I agree because there's so much drama right now. Everyone is like tuning into every song. They're like, "What are they? What are they saying?" It's like people are just like fanned out and crazy out here. It's nuts. Nah, yeah, that's a fact. Niggas be bugging. <laughs> <laughs> there's bugging definitely the more attention on Harlem though. There definitely is. Like I remember when I moved back to New York, it was not that big of a scene, and that was just like a bunch of names out there. It's crazy. It's me and my niggas out there. Um, other niggas is not outside. I feel you. Who's your fa- favorite Harlem rapper that isn't yourself? It can't be yourself. I ain't gonna lie. My son, my son D Rose, we going crazy. My son Chris Cash, we going crazy. Belly <laughs> Guns, yeah, we going crazy. Those are the guys. Top three right there. Dita, who's the most overrated rapper in New York? Overrated. Who? Oh. Rest is that nigga's dirt. <laughs> nigga that stole six of my songs. Niggas be wild like this is about shit I be talking about. Damn. Niggas Damn. dirt. Um, <laughs> that's that's wild. That's wild. Um, that's that's incredible. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I guess we're coming to the end here. So, like, just give me some shout outs, dude. Like, open mic. Like, just shout get. Shout out to the guys, yo. Shout out to my ABK sons from the K. Shout out to my LV sons. Shout out to my Paul sons. Shout out to everybody, yo. I feel it. I feel it. Kill right here. Trim right here. Yo, sir. There's TV. Right? <laughs> to the pavement. Kill my ass even if you're related. Only I was in my eyes, but I'm banging. I can see in your eyes you in danger. Walk ups, drive lines, got you say me important.